Here's a view of the various setups that we have tonight for imaging at uh, the Painted Pony Resort and Dude Ranch. And uh, you can see three Skywatcher mounts here in the foreground, uh, Celestra and Seagem uh, mount, followed by another uh, Skywatcher EQ6, and then in the back, the 14 inch uh, on the CGE Pro mount. There's various other mounts that uh, we'll take a look at briefly when our astronomers come out to uh, unveil them get ready for imaging this evening. Here's a view of the imaging processes that are going to be taking place tonight at the Painted Pony Dude Ranch and Resort. And as we look to the east, we can see the beautiful hills there in the background over which uh, the Milky Way will be coming up in the wee hours of the morning. And now we're pointing towards the southeast. And uh, each morning that we've been here in late February, We've uh, watched the beautiful Omega Centura star cluster come up in that direction over those hills, almost rising like uh, the brightness of the sun when you're looking at it through a big telescope. Towards the south, we have uh, the town or small village of Rodeo, New Mexico, and the hills that are there towards the west are in Arizona, just across the state line, and farther to the south, about 50 miles to the south, the Mexican border. Beautiful dry uh, area for doing uh, astrophotography and visual observing uh, and uh, clear skies uh, the majority of nights during the year and so you can almost be guaranteed of at least some very good viewing and imaging from this particular location. Dalton Wilson with his three imaging setups for tonight in our uh, Painted Pony Dude Ranch and Resort uh, New Mexico Star Party and uh, some of his beautiful work has won awards already with the uh, Calgary Royal Astronomical Society and uh, we're looking forward to seeing more great results from his uh, work here tonight. Of the three systems which Dalton Wilson is using tonight to image from the Painted Pony Dude Ranch and Resort, uh, the largest system is this Celestron C14 which is mounted on a CGE Pro mount. He's using Hyperstar and an 80 millimeter guide scope for his imaging from that tonight. Welcome to the Painted Pony Dude Ranch and Resort. Here we have an imaging system that is a typical system for doing astrophotography. Uh, in this particular case we have the Skywatcher EQ6 mount with a refractor on the top of it and what we're simply doing tonight is using the mount and the telescope to serve as a piggyback for the camera. We'll do some wide field imaging of the Milky Way and other constellations and the mount and the, the scope will allow us to keep that directly on track. The advantage to that is we can also look through the eyepiece at an object uh, where we want to point the telescope while the camera is taking long-term exposures. The other thing that we can do is take the camera off of here and put it in to the telescope to do prime focus photography. We're using a small 9 by 50 finder scope with the Orion Starshoot Auto Guider as the guider in order to maintain precision tracking of the stars for those long exposure photos. And then next to that we have another system which is the Orion 110 millimeter refractor on an EQ5 mount. A slightly larger finder scope that is being used uh, which would also be fitted with an auto guider and that will be especially useful if you're searching in the Virgo star cluster for a star to guide on or if you wanted to use a standalone auto guider without a laptop like the Celestron Next Guide then the 80 millimeter uh, guide scope will work extremely well with any of these particular telescopes. And then last but not least we have a beautiful little system which takes some fabulous uh, astrophotos and that's the Orion 80 millimeter carbon fiber triplet and again we're using a 9 by 50 guide scope converted with the Orion Starshoot auto guider in order to do our, uh, our guiding. It's uh, polar aligned, uh, balanced, it needs the CCD imager or SLR camera uh, in order to complete the system here. But again a beautiful travel system you can take the 80 millimeter off use it for daytime photography, uh, maybe putting it on a tripod to hold it steady. But there's uh, three different systems uh, and they'll all produce some fabulous astrophotos. So we wish you well with uh, your astrophotography. In the background behind me you can see the beautiful mountains in this valley here at the Painted Pony Dude Ranch and Resort. 
near Rodeo, New Mexico. And uh, we're looking forward to again some clear skies, the fifth in a row since we've been here this week, and uh, some beautiful photos that have been taken under those skies. Here we have award winning astrophotographer Dalton Wilson with his three systems that are being set up for imaging tonight. The first one that we'll take a look at is here with the Celestron C Gem mount and a Skywatcher Equinox 120 refractor. As you'll see, he has also the Quick Guider, which uh, is simply a 9x50 finder scope that has been converted with the Orion Starshoot Auto Guider for doing the auto guiding. He has a dedicated CCD imager for prime focus photography connected to this. And then on top, he also has a QSI imager with a Canon or Nikon lens for doing some beautiful wide field photography. In this particular case, he'll be able to uh, use two different laptops off of this system, one doing the prime focus through the 120 millimeter and the other one through the wide field uh, with, the, uh, uh, with the QSI camera. But again, the secret here is uh, polar alignment, balance, getting things focused, and then being able to take those long time exposures without getting any star trailing, uh, maintaining nice pinpoint stars throughout the length of that image. Next to that is our only uh, Newtonian imager that it's set up here at this time. And uh, you'll see in this particular case, he's set up with a CCD imager to be able to take the uh, prime focus photography through this eight inch uh, Astro um, Newtonian. And again, on the top, he will be able to run his auto guider and uh, perhaps the various types of uh, guide scopes. But the EQ6 mount, again, being solid for being able to take that kind of uh, exposure time. Next to that, and uh, last in this particular lineup, is um, the biggest of the imaging scopes that we have out in the, the field here today. And that's the Celestron C14 on a CGE Pro mount. And again, a very heavy duty mount for uh, a 14 inch telescope. What's unique about this one is that he has it set up to do what we call hyperstar. So the camera is there on the front of the uh, telescope and the focal ratio is changed to an f2 which provides very fast uh, astrophotography being able to capture some wide field astrophotos in very quick order in this case he's using an 80 millimeter orion uh, guide scope with the orion starshoot auto guider for uh, the auto guider to maintain uh, accurate tracking on the uh, on the stars there is the possibility of uh, also changing the camera from Hyperstar uh, to Prime Focus, perhaps using a focal reducer to get it down to a 0.8 focal ratio or, or 6.3 uh, focal ratio as well. But again, uh, there are various photos that you can see that have come off of these systems and uh, at least gives you a bit of a start in understanding what some possibilities are for astrophotography.